continues M1, travelling around about 160, uh, 170 miles per hour, just approaching the junction of the M25. And the vehicle's now uh, just approaching junction 12, past the service area, now approaching junction 12. It's just um, approaching now junction 13. MP, this, um, this bike is now slowing considerably behind heavies on the motorway trying to evade us. I believe it's um, obviously aware of our presence. Very small number plate, small number plate, IC1 rider, black helmet, dark colour top and dark colour shorts and dark trainers over. Yes, sir, thank you. MP, the vehicle's now stop stop on the hard shoulder past the past the services, just under the bridge past the services. He stopped stop on the hard shoulder, he's run out of fuel. Ten past, we are one minute out. Uh, keep eyes on please, side the seat, you shouldn't hear lane three moving now. All units, he's gone the wrong way on the M1 and he's gone back into the service stations. Commit into the services, he's gone the wrong way into the services. One, can you get a rolling roadblock up to the services and then units into it please? Britain's fastest police chase ever, teenage biker flees police at 180 miles per hour on a 189 horsepower Honda CBR superbike. This is the moment a teenage biker fled from police during a nail-biting 30-minute chase before his eventual arrest at an M1 petrol station. Footage released by the Metropolitan Police today shows Marion Vasilika Dragoy, 19, hitting speeds of up to 180 miles per hour on his black Honda on May 20. He had jumped red lights, mounted pavements and driven on the wrong side of the road in a desperate bid to escape officers. Police had spotted his high-powered bike, with a false number plate, at around 9.20 p.m. in the Wood Green area of North London. Dragoy hit speeds of 70 miles per hour in a 20 miles per hour zone and was clocked at 180 miles per hour on the M1 before he rode the wrong way along the motorway's hard shoulder to refuel. He was then stopped on the forecourt of the petrol station and arrested. Dragoy, from Wood Green, pleaded guilty to dangerous driving, failing to stop for police, driving a motor vehicle without a license and driving without insurance at Highbury Corner Magistrates Court on Monday, the Met said. He faces sentencing at Wood Green Crown Court on January 14. Arresting Officer Sergeant Tony McGovern said, at one point of the pursuit, Dragoy went straight through every single red light he was confronted with, rode on the wrong side of the road in his attempts to get away and even mounted pavements. Throughout the pursuit, he continued to ride in a dangerous manner, and he only had the National Police Air Service helicopter tracking him, without any police vehicles on the ground anywhere near him. He failed to stop for police and continued to put his own life and the lives of other road users, as well as innocent pedestrians, into serious danger. Our highly trained Operation Venice officers are out on the streets of London every day fighting moped, scooter and motorbike enabled crimes and I hope this case acts as a deterrent to anyone considering to display such erratic behaviour on our roads. In a statement, Scotland Yard said that officers from the Met's Operation Venice Command had been dealing with a separate matter in Turnpike Lane, Herringy, in May when a number of motorbikes cut across their path at speed. As police units entered green lanes, they could just make out a small plate on one of the motorbikes which turned out to be a false registration plate. The rider, Dragoy, was riding alone and did not know the other motorcyclists. 
But as Dragoy continued to ride off at speed, officers made progress to catch up with him but saw that he was accelerating away them. Police said inquiries revealed Dragoy was the rightful owner of the bike, although he did not hold an appropriate license or insurance to operate the bike. A pursuit was shortly authorized and officers requested assistance from the National Police Air Service NPAS helicopter. Dragoy went through multiple red lights, drove on the wrong side of the road and traveled well over the speed limit, doing in 70 miles per hour in a 20 miles per hour zone and driving at speeds of 100 miles per hour before getting onto the M1. As he hurtled towards Hertfordshire, Dragoy traveled at 150 miles per hour. He also entered Bedfordshire, where NPAS reported the motorbike was hitting speeds of 180 miles per hour. Shortly after this, Dragoy made his way into Buckinghamshire, where he rode the wrong way along the M1 on the hard shoulder to enter a service station. Operation Venice officers made it to the service station before Dragoy could refuel and arrested him on the petrol station forecourt. Click the link below to read the related article and watch the video coverage. This bike is now slowing considerably behind heavies on the motorway trying to evade us. I believe it's um, obviously aware of our presence. It's a very small number plate, small number plate, IC1 rider, black helmet, dark coloured top and dark coloured shorts and dark trainers over. Yes, sir, thank you. MP, the vehicle's now stop stop on the hard shoulder past the past the services, just under the bridge, past the services. He stop stop on the hard shoulder, he's run out of fuel. Impasse, we are one minute out. Uh, keep eyes on, please. Side the seat, you should see us. Lane 3, moving now. All units, he's gone the wrong way on the M1 and he's gone back into the service stations. Commit into the services, he's gone the wrong way into the services. Just one, can you get a rolling roadblock up to the services and then units into it, please? Scorpion 2 rolling roadblock into the services received. 